Holy crap, it has finally arrived. Hey, what is up everybody, it's your boy Care, and welcome to a very rare unboxing video. The last time I actually made one of these types of videos, like over a year ago at this point, when I unboxed my RX 6600 XT graphics card, and it wasn't even really much of an unboxing video. I kind of just unboxed it and threw boxes around and gave a thumbs up at the end. Today, however, I'm going to be doing a proper unboxing video for the first time, like ever. Actually giving some commentary, properly unboxing the product, giving it a showcase and testing it. At least I'm going to try. Now, us human beings have a very short attention span, no matter whether you have ADD, ADHD or none of the above. It's a proven fact. So instead of me just talking and carrying on about a couple of things, let me just first showcase exactly what I'm going to be unboxing. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the PDP Afterglow Wave Xbox controller. I ordered this thing back in late December, but unfortunately, the place that I ordered it from, Eve Tech, not sponsored by the way, was closed at the time. So I've been waiting for like two, maybe even three weeks at this point in order to get it. But man, am I excited to finally have it arrive. Now, the reason as to why I bought myself another Xbox controller is this right here. This little piece of shit that lasted me for two years and then evidently broke. I bought this for like half the price of a normal Xbox One controller. As you guys can probably see, there's not even an Xbox badge on there, okay? Because it is clearly a knockoff. This controller right here has given me a ton of crap over the two years that I had it. Everything from stick drift, cable breaking, the controller's grips tearing off. Obviously, it's missing features such as the wireless capability. But all of that aside, it pushed me through for those two years and I did absolutely love using it up until that happened. That right there, okay? Right trigger just completely snapped off with the braces and it's extremely hard to repair considering the coil as you guys can see this little two pieces of wire are supposed to be wrapped around something but the brace over here completely snapped off and well as a result i'm sitting with pieces and a controller that doesn't work and also when i tried to repair it the uh i don't know if you guys can see it the power point right there broke as well so fair enough to say it's fucked and as a result of me not having a controller due to it breaking i've been really struggling in various games especially anything that has to do with racing and sim racing outside of that i don't really need a controller besides rocket league and gta because it just makes life a lot easier but with all of that being said ladies and gentlemen let's open up this bad boy and uh, give it a test run shall we now normally if i have any sort of electronic delivered to my house i would very carefully like peel off these stickers so that if the product is actually damaged or something isn't right about the product i can simply just seal it up and send it back without having to wait several days to get a refund or a replacement luckily i've never actually had that issue when it comes to eve tech specifically but lately i've seen that they switching around different carriers like very often so my trust in that is kind of wary however since i'm actually recording this unboxing i just went ahead and got myself a trusty kitchen knife because i have video evidence of me opening this thing for the first time and um, that's one eh. that's two i must say the packaging on the outside alone is like really nice it's like proper smooth cardboard with visuals and stuff i mean the boxing as a whole is just it looks really cool like for like xbox themselves don't do this shit also yes i'm being one of those unboxers because well uh deal with it i guess eh. i can never I, I i hate this stuff i always tear it come on man okay there we go i end up tearing it anyways typical i said it was nice i didn't say it was the highest quality freaking cardboard you can get and the packaging itself seems like just really simple. I don't think any of this is going to be picked up on my mic unless I'm actually like talking. But that's why I'm like talking. Holy moly. Does this thing look gorgeous, bro? Oh my. Oh my, oh my. I think it's a newer edition controller compared to my old one as well. I'm just going to set that aside and try to like 
find everything. This controller also comes with like one month of Game Pass for free, which I mean, I already pay for Game Pass, so it would be cool to have a month off, but then again, Game Pass is not really expensive. So maybe go down below in the comment section and maybe, I don't know, first person to watch this or maybe there's a competition or something. I, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Just go check the comment section about this. Naturally, it also comes with a nice very nice looking actually uh instruction manual as you can see there it's one of those lazy efforts of like a really thin book where you have to scan the code in order to get the manual for it so and last but not least it also comes with a very very nice looking type c okay this runs off type c it looks long too as hell and it's got like a little led right there i suppose right there if I could just, you know, use my hands appropriately right there. Considering how much is rolled up, I think this is a long ass controller and I think I love this already. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I went ahead and bought this controller specifically. TDB is a company that is officially endorsed by Xbox. This is all not sponsored, by the way. I just want to make that very clear. And when something is endorsed by Xbox, it means that the quality of the product is going to be as high as a normal Xbox manufactured controller or headset or whatever else Xbox sells at this point. I don't really give a shit. Not only, however, is PDB endorsed by Xbox, but their controllers are just way better than a normal xbox controller i could have just simply gone into store and paid like 80 to 100 freaking dollars for a normal xbox controller or i could pay cheaper at like 60 dollars for a controller like this that has rgb lighting extra features computer software and i think possibly even rear panel button like this is cheaper than a normal Xbox controller and it's like 10 times better okay let me shut up though and actually you know oh boy it feels so light and that's because it is n like not wireless like at all it, like you can't even put batteries in it okay you can't open it up so it's very light it has to be plugged in which i mean for some people would be a downside but for me personally i i, I don't mind because less latency and also i'm using it on pc so i don't want to really struggle with wireless at all oh my goodness it's gorgeous chat it's gorgeous why did i just say chat i don't know why i said chat i'm so used to just like streaming when i make this type of stuff and also as you can see here i don't know if you could hear that you, you're not going to be able to hear it unless i'm talking so i'm going to talk but you're going to be able to hear the click the click it is so nice even this oh yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. oh what about the oh that's got a nice click that's got a nice click to it these feel so smooth on the triggers and even these have like a nice little click to them as well you guys are probably not going to be able to hear it entirely unless i turn off like all my microphone filters but i've got a fan on me right now so i don't really want to do that because then you're just gonna sound like you're in a i don't know fucking tornado or something so not only is this thing cheaper than a normal controller okay it feels better it feels amazing because it's got like this textured padding like all around which it feels great it's lighter than a normal controller because it doesn't have the battery feature or the battery set there it's got rear panel buttons right it's not like four triggers like a freaking custom controller or something but these are amazing and the positioning is awesome as well for like your middle finger or i guess these fingers which like yeah i guess if you play claw but i don't play claw so not only that but it also has different feature buttons like you could change the volume and some other stuff like there's there's different modes on the actual d-pad that you guys might be able to see right there and then like a mute button for your microphone as well above all else and something that xbox still hasn't fucking realized to this day which i don't understand why it's got a freaking 3.5 millimeter dude it's just there 3.5 millimeter compared to this dog shit which i i don't know why it's sort of like apple with their really shitty lightning cable that they've had for so many years that's kind of what xbox has done with this just like there's no need for that if a controller like this is a 3.5 there's no need for this extension you just do it so you can make money having an extra product that has to put it there anyways enough ranting out of me this thing feels solid as hell like this is quality beyond belief right here even the they, they've got like a little bit of a stiffness to them that makes you feel as if they're not gonna just like start drifting after like a week of playing which is just 
I mean, wow. Yes, okay. I've been playing for the last like two years on a really shitty knockoff controller that I bought for half the price of a normal controller, but I have felt what a real proper Xbox controller has felt like, and this feels way better has more functionality and again is like 400 rand cheaper it's like 20 dollars cheaper than a normal controller and it's just better in every way outside of not having in wireless capability but for someone like me i don't give a shit this is proper also yes looking at the two now this is definitely the newer xbox edition because this is based off of the xbox one so you can see right there this one the new one is quite a little bit bigger whilst the Xbox One controller still seemingly like looks like an Xbox 360 controller, but upgraded in a sense and more slimline. I don't even know why this actually has like the battery thing. It, it has everything to put batteries in, but it has no wireless functionality. They copied everything and forgot the most important shit. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. I want to plug the sucker in. Because another amazing feature that no Xbox controller has that I know of outside of like really upgraded expensive Xbox controllers is the RGB functionality, which is going to fit so perfectly with my whole setup here. Oh, I'm excited for this. Hold on. And like I said, it's not wireless. So you need a cable. And not only is this a high quality cable, this thing's probably like three meters. Plugged in the cable and it's actually so long that it reaches my normal adapter meaning I don't have to compromise and plug something out of the top of my computer that's behind my, my setup, uh, which is amazing. It, it just keeps getting better. The moment of truth, okay? And since it's type C, which any smart company will use at this point, it should just slide in. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. that is just oh, hold on i'm turning this light off that is just gorgeous it was the like rgb around these as well dude of course no rgb on the back which is fine because who gives a fuck you're not gonna be able to see it and you barely feel like the grooves you barely feel them again this is cheaper than a normal xbox controller this has to be like the best Xbox controller you could buy outside of like the really expensive upgradable like Predator ones you get from like Razer and stuff or like the Xbox Pro controller but that's because of different reasons. Another thing is like there's just a simple light up there okay it's just that not the Xbox logo itself doesn't light up and I actually like it because some of the other ones is like it's blindingly bright on the Xbox thing itself you don't need that. It's so simple little light there instead of this blinding thing that's in your face. I just switched over to desktop real quick because this actually gets even better with the functionality of this application because PDP just thought of everything. You don't just want RGB, right? You want to be able to control that RGB and I want to test that for myself and whatever other functionality that this thing may, may, may or may not have. And of course, like software updates as well. Holy crap. I just read like that is firmly in there, by the way. This type C is quality. It clicks in and it's there. Like it, it's not coming loose at all. It's turned off. It is vibrating. And now it's like, okay. Would you like a quick tutorial of the main section of the home screen? I don't take tutorials in anything. I don't know what you mean. So you can manually adjust the dead zones of your analogs, adjust the controller's audio settings, adjust the minimum and maximum dead zones of your triggers, adjust the vibration strength. You can remap your buttons and then you can even change how fast the RGBs move. It just becomes a freaking light show. I'm definitely not doing that. That's like way too fast. And in terms of like RGB as well, you can adjust the different presets. Everything from like breathing mode here, where you could change the colors. Rumble, which is just kind of like a nice flow to it. You could do the, like the whole pulse thing as well, which I think is dependent on like movement or just like on a random time. Ripple is kind of like, well, sort of rumble in reverse which I think is pretty cool. Upflow, it, that is, that is, I mean, 
if your controller is doing that, it, it's pretty sick. And then obviously you could do that in reverse as well. That, that is just beautiful. For me though, I love the wave functionality of it. And I'll put it to like medium speed like that. So that it matches the speed of everything else. Bro, I didn't even notice the way that wave moves. Is it waves in downwards here and waves up on the right side, bro. That is incredible. There's not only the different actual like configurations that you could do though. You can even do diagnostics to make sure everything is working fine on the controller, which is just incredible. All right, so first glance, everything just, it just seems spectacular. All right, this, this controller, how it feels, how it looks, the software, the, how much customization it features. All of it just seems really, really amazing. However, you know, as always, the proof is in the pudding. So I'm going to have to do some proper testing and come back, maybe make another video and add it to the end of this video. I'm not entirely sure yet. For now, though, I really appreciate you coming by. Thank you so much for checking it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing video. This might just be the best Xbox controller that money could buy. And it's cheaper than a normal controller. I cannot get over the fact that this thing is so cool. And it's cheaper than a normal damn Xbox controller. If you guys are new to the channel. Want to see more content like this. Or would like to see the review. Slash follow up video to this one. About this controller. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And also if you guys just enjoy the unboxing as a whole. Be sure to smash the like button. As it really helps on my content. That's all for me today though. Until next time y'all. Peace.